Today's episode of Street Smart Civics Edition is all about political parties in the United States. Visit PragerUKids.com to download this sweet worksheet and play along. This is Street Smarts, a game show on the streets where contestants are rewarded for their knowledge. Street Smarts! Awesome job! Oh my goodness, so good. Hey, Uncle Sam, it's your favorite time of the day. Tax time? No, it's time to film another episode of Street Smart Civics Edition. Oh. <laughs> I'm your host, Selena Lewis, with... You to the N to the CLE, that's right, you know it's me, it's Uncle Sam, and we are back in downtown LA to see what kids know about political parties. Let's go find out. Beach and across the street. Here are the rules. There are a total of eight questions. Each correct answer is worth $5. But the final question is worth $20. If someone is stuck on a question, they can pay Uncle Sam $2 for a clue, or they can pay him $5 to ask for help from a friend or a parent. Now, once someone answers incorrectly, that is it. They are eliminated. However, the good news is they get to keep all the cash that they earned up to that point. Today on the show, we have... Senna. Senna. Senna! Welcome, welcome. Clinton. Fran. Matthew. Hey, Freddy. Ready? I'm ready. He's ready. His name's Chris, though. His name's Chris. You ready, Chris? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Question one. These are groups that support certain political goals and work to elect candidates who attempt to make these goals a reality. A, political parties. B, tea parties. Or C, birthday parties. A, political parties. Yeah, she was quick hey, with it. your first Get five dollars. So if school didn't fail me, I'm thinking A, political parties. The school system did they not did fail not. you, Clinton. <laughs> There's five dollars for you right there. Woo! She already did. We don't even need to finish parties. it. Parties. Hey, political parties <laughs> is correct. No, 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 that's your first five dollars. Question two. Currently in the United States, there are several political parties, but the two most competitive parties are... The Democratic Party and the Republican Party. That is correct! Yes. Uh, Republican, uh, Democrat? It's... You got it! R&D, research, oh no, no, Republican and Democrat. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Are you toying with us? Help from a parent. I'll have to take five back. Democrats and Republicans. That is Democrats correct! And you got the five dollars back! Five. And what do you say to mom? Thank you, mom. I'm sorry, I know oh, I'm a no, I know. no. Question three. During George Washington's presidency, the two-party system developed because of differences between which two cabinet members? A, Abraham Lincoln and Andrew Johnson, B, Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson, or C, John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon? I think, uh, Option B, Hamilton and Jefferson. Do we have a Hamilton in there? No Hamilton, no oh, Jefferson, but we it. do have a Lincoln. Yeah, yeah. Clinton! B, Thomas Jefferson and uh, Alex Hamilton. B, Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Question four is a true or false. The Constitution explicitly states that America must have only two main political parties. False. False. Uh, false. Yeah, that's false. False. Look at this. I don't, I don't like it, but I'm giving it to him. There you go. No, I'm kidding. I like your style, but that's fun. It. I love it. He tossed the coin, and he got the five. Question number five. Occasionally, significant support is given to a party other than the Republicans or Democrats. These parties are often called A, outside parties, B, lesser parties, or C, third parties. C, third parties? Two dollars, right? Yeah. I'll take two, and Selena will give you the clue. They are called this because these parties fall just behind the two major parties in popularity. C, third parties. Woo! That and that's a correct. two for five deal for Senna! I feel like if there's two parties, it's got to be a third party. Just take it, Clinton. Just take it. All right. The fives are coming. The fives are coming. The fives are coming. They get harder. They do. Question six. During this kind of election, political parties are involved in choosing who will serve in the electoral college. Is it A, presidential election, 
B, runoff election, or C, midterm election? C, midterm election? It's not midterm. Uh, I need a clue. You got it. These elections occur every four years and decide who the head of the executive branch will be. A presidential election. Give her another president. Speaking of president. Of yeah. A presidential election. Is it correct? Yeah. Uh, I think. I think it's Speaking correct. of presidential, yeah. she got another Lincoln. Woo! Presidential election? Ah, it's presidential election. You see, I, I like clues, but the thing is, I was always taught that when you're in doubt, you pick C. So I, I'm going to pick C midterms. And he got cocky. He got cocky when C didn't. Question seven. Citizens can volunteer to help during a political party's campaign at the local or community levels, which is also known as the A, ratio level, B, grassroots level, or C, federal level. Uh, C, federal level. It's not C, it's not federal. No, it's not. Can I have a clue, please? I'll take two. This is the level where parties hope to grow the most support. Okay, I'm gonna guess B. What the way? I don't know. Who knows? Oh man, this one's too hard. I'm gonna have to ask my dad. That would be the grassroots level. And that would be Ka. Dad coming in with us. Oh, she was wanting me to say correct. That would be correct. So we meant to say yes, and you get your five dollars back. Hey, Selena, what time is it? I don't know. I don't have a watch. Uh, Selena, check again. Oh my gosh! I know what time it is. It's time for the final question. This final question is worth twenty dollars. All right. All right. So here it is. Which major political party was founded in 1854 as the party that opposed the expansion of slavery? Democratic. Uh, re Republican? Dang, 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 that is correct! It was actually the Republican Party what? whose first president was none other than Abraham Lincoln. Uh, that makes more sense. Yeah. Right there. Abraham Lincoln. That's right. Abraham yeah, you Lincoln. Did. Of course you knew that. Abraham Lincoln. Wow, you made it all the way to the end. Give it up for Matthew. Street fight! Today we learned about political parties in the United States. Political parties are groups that support certain political goals and work to elect candidates who attempt to make those goals a reality. They allow people to join with others who share their political beliefs and fight for certain policies. They often represent different viewpoints that are either liberal, moderate, or conservative. In free countries, there are often many parties, but usually only a few are competitive. Since the country's founding, two political parties have always dominated American politics. During George Washington's presidency, the two-party system developed because of differences between two cabinet members, Alexander Hamilton, a Federalist who supported a stronger federal government, and Thomas Jefferson, a Democratic Republican who favored a weaker federal government. The founders feared the divisive nature of political parties, but understood that they were inevitable. President George Washington, in his famed farewell address, warned the country that parties tend to divide Americans, stir up conflict, and increase corruption. At the same time, James Madison believed that in every political society, parties are unavoidable. Today, Democrats and Republicans are the dominant political parties, but neither the Constitution nor the Founders declared that America must have two main parties. The fact that two are dominant is due to how elections are run and how political figures organize their parties. 
Many Americans might not prefer the dominance of a two-party system, but one of the benefits of having only two major parties is that they promote stability, which increases the legitimacy of the government, forcing them to appeal to more people by moderating their views. Political parties nominate candidates for public offices through primary elections and their conventions during campaigns. Then, the voters decide among those candidates in the general election. Parties play a major role during elections by announcing their policy goals, developing campaign strategy, raising money for candidates, and discrediting their opponents. Parties also select electors for the Electoral College and presidential elections. Fun fact! Occasionally, a party other than the two major parties will gain significant support, often called a third party. Political parties are essential institutions of democracy, representing the different viewpoints of the American people and offering them a choice in how they are governed. Oh my goodness. I am so Freedom fries. Oh, oh my goodness. Speaking of freedom, we totally forgot to do the outro. Oh, let, me, let me hold this for oh, you. I'll take dude. the load off. Um, <laughs> Selena? <laughs> oh, yes. Um, thank you to all our contestants for participating in today's episode of Street Smart Civics Edition. I'm your host, Selena Lewis, with Uncle Sam, and it has been a blast and a half filming in downtown LA. We'll see you next time. Until then, stay smart, stay, stay street, street smart. Be <laughs> Alex Hamilton and um, John. The Jefferson dude. Yeah, Hamilton and the Jefferson dude, and that gets you a Lincoln dude. Well done. Oh. <laughs> it is so pleasant. It is so pleasant to have Washington a in your hand. On it is side. so. Get some hair light. <laughs> hair light. Oh. <laughs> I was like, fix yourself, man. You look nasty. Hey, hey, thanks for watching this episode. We hope you learned a lot. You know we have more, right? PragerU Kids is devoted to teaching what most schools aren't, our American values, history, and blessings. Watch more at PragerUKids.com, and parents, don't forget to subscribe.